and Michigan Tech in Haunt, Michigan. It's the Winter Carnival. It, 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 it's similar to Sapporo. Uh, so when they spend days carving out snow sculptures and planning outdoor events and dreaming about warm weather, possibly later in the year. Right now, on the phone is Michael right. Smoter. Michael, are you with us this morning? Yeah, how's it going, guys? I'm doing well. And did I get the last name right? I would just want to make sure for everybody. Yep, Mike Smoter. All right, perfect. All right, so let's uh, talk a little bit about the weekend. What do you guys have going on? And uh, and what are some of the most amazing snow sculptures we will see? Um, well, every year Michigan Tech does a, a winter carnival celebration. And uh, student orgs from around campus compete in uh, month-long snow statues. And this year the theme for them was uh, vacation destinations. So uh, our organization, Tau Kappa Epsilon International Men's Fraternity, uh, we came together and did London, England for our sculpture. Hey, Jim has a question for you. Jim, go ahead. Yeah, I want to know, how do you guys, I mean, we just saw these phenomenal uh, snow sculptures in Japan. How do you get the best snow sculptures? I mean, do you, I, I saw somebody with an iron there, a blow dryer, a hose. What do you use? Um, well, we don't really use any power tools in the construction of it. It's all uh, built by hands uh, with our own muscle. So all, we import all the snow to ensure that it's clean and uh, ensure a lot of quality control throughout the process. And I think that's the biggest thing. We'll